Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're gonna to go through an hour long morning flow. We're gonna start with a little bit of kirtan then move through a physical practice. Allowing yourself to find a comfortable seat, any comfortable seat for you. Making sure to have any props or bolsters that you might need later on. When you're ready, allowing yourself to settle into a breath. Full deep breaths in and full deep breaths out. You're welcome to join in with the mantra music, the kirtan chanting, or you can simply listen and feel the vibration.
body and breath to feel and notice to breathe as we honor the divine within ourselves. One clearing breath, a deep breath in, and a big sigh out. When you're ready, you're going to make your way into your child's pose. mounds to touch. Your knees can meet together or nice and wide. Hips drawing towards your heels. Letting your upper body start to release. You let your forearms release down if you need some support. Taking a few full deep breaths here. Deep breaths in. And out. Taking one sighing breath, clearing breath out, a deep breath in, a big sigh out. When you're ready, rising into your table. And as you exhale, letting your hips sink back towards your heels. You can do this a few more times. Inhale to rise back up. Exhale to sink your hips back down. Inhale to rise. Exhale to release. One more time, inhale to rise back up. And exhale to release back down. We're gonna move in some circles. So as you inhale, rising up, letting your hips come towards the right, coming through the center over towards the left and hips back towards your heels. There's no right or wrong way to take these movements. It's anything that feels good in your body. Taking one more in this direction. And then we're going to move in the other direction. Just allowing your breath to move and your body to open. And one more revolution. Pausing in your child's pose once more. A full deep breath in and out. As you inhale, rising into your table and curling your toes and pressing back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward into your plank. Exhaling back to your downward facing dog. One more inhale to wave forward. Exhale to wave back. Inhale to rise high into your toes and slowly walking forward. Finding a gentle forward fold. Soft bend to your knees, head and neck to relax. You can shake your head yes and no. Taking a slightly deeper bend into your knees as you inhale, rolling up to stand. 
Give me a big shoulder roll. Give me two or three more. Pause in here for a full breath in. And out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale to fold. Deep bend to your knees. Inhale, rolling up to stand. Give me your big shoulder roll. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale to fold. One more time. Deep bend to your knees. Inhale, rolling up to stand. The big shoulder roll. Inhale, sweeping your arms tall. And exhale, forward fold, coming all the way down. As you inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, grounding your palms, stepping back into your plank. A full deep breath here. Exhale, chaturanga or your knees, chest and chin. Inhale, your upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Stepping your toe mounts a touch. Inhale, extending your right leg out behind you. And staying here, opening up, stacking your hips, bending into your right knee. Inhale to extend and square. Exhaling knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhaling knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale to extend one more time. Exhaling knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhale stepping forward your lizard lunge. Right foot to the outside edge of your right hand. Left knee gently releasing down. Hips drawing forward, chest to lift. You're welcome to stay right here, or you can start to draw down onto your forearms. If you start to come to your forearms and your right forearm is off the ground, but the left is down, you can place some blocks or bolsters underneath your arms here. two more full breaths in and out. And slowly rising back up onto your palms. We're going to move into your twist. You can stay right here, letting your right hand come to your right knee, slowly opening up. You can stay here, rolling to the outside edge of your right foot. Letting your right knee begin to open. You can stay here, maybe your right arm up towards the ceiling. If it's okay for you, you can bend into your back knee, taking a hold of your foot, letting your heel draw in towards your hip. Two more breaths here, a deep breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Gently releasing your back foot if you have it. Both palms to your mat. Inhale, stepping back into your plank. Exhale, lowering chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, your downward facing dog. Stepping your toe mounts a touch. Inhale, extend your left leg out behind you. Pausing right here, opening up, stacking your hips, bending into your knee.
Inhale to extend and square. Exhaling knee towards your left shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhaling knee towards your left shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhaling knee towards your shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhale, stepping forward your lizard lunge on this side. Left foot to the outside edge of your left hand. Right knee gently to release down. Pausing here on your palms, chest, hips, drawing forward. And staying right here, working down to your forearms. Again, this side might feel completely different. Allowing yourself to breathe. Allowing yourself to feel and notice your body. And two more full breaths, a deep breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Slowly rising back onto your palms. We're gonna prepare for your twist. Grounding into your right hand, left hand towards your left knee. Maybe the chest lifts, starts to rotate. Staying here or rolling to the outside edge of your left foot. And staying here, you can bend into your back knee, letting your hand catch your foot and drawing your heel towards your hip. One more breath in and out. Gently releasing your right foot, palms down to your mat. As you inhale, stepping back into your plank. Exhale, lowering chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, your downward facing dog. Pausing here for a full round of breath, a deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, rising high into your toes and slowly walking your feet to meet your hands. Finding a gentle forward fold. Soft bend to your knees, head and neck to relax. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, rising halfway up, exhale to fold. Deep bend to your knees, inhale, rolling up to stand. Your big shoulder roll at the top and two or three more. Pausing here for a breath, a full deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. As you inhale to rise halfway up to final length. Exhale to fold once more, walking your hands over towards the right side of your body. And let your right knee start to bend, straightening into your left leg, leaning into your outer left hip.
more full breath in and out. Soften of both knees coming back through center to find length and walking your hands over towards the other side, bending into your left knee, maybe straightening into your right leg, leaning into your outer right hip. If your hands don't come all the way to the ground, you can have your hands onto your block, onto a block, or to your left leg, wherever works for you. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. Slowly coming back through center, finding length and forward fold. Pausing here in an active fold. You can have your hands to your shins, to blocks, towards the ground, taking any bind that might be in your practice. Your big toes with your peace fingers or your palms underneath the soles of your feet. Wherever you end up, allowing the crown of your head to draw down towards the ground, your hips to begin to draw up towards the ceiling. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale to rise halfway up, exhale grounding your palms, stepping back into your plank. Full deep breath in here, exhaling your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale your downward facing dog. Stepping your toe mounds a touch, inhale, extending your right leg out behind you once more. A full deep breath in, exhaling knee in towards your nose. Inhale to extend, exhaling knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhaling knee towards your left shoulder and pause. Staying right here, maybe your right foot extends out. If your left heel grounds, Maybe your left arm floats. If you're feeling squirrely, maybe your right foot begins to float as well. One more full breath in. Exhaling your left palm down, right knee into your chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale, stepping forward your warrior one. Fear of a no one. Inhale to rise. One more full deep breath in and out. Releasing your hands behind your lower back and releasing your fingers. Taking another shoulder roll and as you inhale, opening across your chest. Staying right here as you inhale to find length. Exhale to begin to bow forward. Chest leading the way, finding length through the crown of your head. Staying right here, moving into your humble warrior. Letting your chest draw inside of your right knee, your right hip drawing back, your left hip drawing forward, pressing down into your left heel. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. 
As you inhale, slowly rising back up, releasing your arms overhead. As you exhale, lowering down to your plank. Full deep breath in. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, your downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your left leg out behind you. Another deep breath in. Exhaling, knee in towards your nose. Inhale to extend. Exhaling, knee towards your left shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhaling towards your right shoulder and pause. Staying here, extending your left leg out. Maybe the right heel grounds, your right palm to float. And maybe the left foot begins to float on this side. One more breath, a deep breath in. As you exhale, your right palm down, left knee into your chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale, stepping forward, your warrior one, your Veer Vadrasana one. Inhale to rise. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. Gently releasing your hands behind your lower back, taking the opposite interlace, taking a big shoulder roll and opening across your chest. Staying right here, beginning to bow forward once more, chest reaching long. And staying right here, moving into your humble warrior on this side. Left hip drawing back, right hip drawing forward, grounding into your right heel. One more breath, a deep breath in and out. Pressing down into your feet, inhale slowly, rising back up, releasing your arms overhead. Exhale, lowering down to your plank. Full deep breath in, exhale your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale your downward facing dog. Pausing here for a full breath, a deep breath in and out. As you inhale, rising high into your toes and slowly walking your feet to meet your hands. Inhaling halfway up, exhale to fold. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center and pause here for a full breath. A deep breath in and out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale, forward fold, pausing here in another active fold. Crown of your head drawing towards the ground, hips drawing up towards the ceiling. Taking any other grasp with your hands or bind that might feel good for you. Maybe even bending your knees, letting your arms wrap around your thighs. Letting your chest stay closer towards your thighs as your legs begin to straighten. If your legs don't fully straighten, that's okay.
one more full breath here. A deep breath in and out. Gently release any binds you might have and slowly rising halfway up and gently to release back down. We're gonna find your squat, your malasana. Let your feet come hip width, maybe a little bit wider. Hips beginning to draw down towards the ground. Hands can stay on the ground out in front of you, maybe to your heart center. Maybe you have a block or bolster underneath your hips. Wherever works for you. Allowing yourself to breathe here. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. One more full breath here in and out. Slowly making your way down onto your mat. You can let your hands release behind you and sit back down, letting your knees be nice and wide and a gentle windshield wiper side to side. We're gonna pause over on the right side. We're gonna move into your pigeon. So if you have any issues with your knees or your hips, you can stay right here and fold over your right shin. If you know you can come into your full pigeon, squaring your right shin off to the front of your mat and letting your left leg come out behind you. Taking any support underneath your right hip, your front hip if you need it. When you're ready, finding length. And staying here, slowly beginning to fold over your front knee, your bent knee. Allowing yourself to breathe. Allowing yourself to let go. Taking two more full breaths here. Deep breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. When you're ready, slowly rising back up. So you come into your full pigeon, rolling onto your right hip and letting your left knee come up to meet your right gonna move into a twist. Letting your right hand, or your both hands, come over towards the right side of your body. Allowing your upper body to twist. Staying here, slowly walking your hands away. Coming down to your forearms, you can place a block or bolster underneath your ribcage. And slowly lying down. Take any placement for your arms, your head, and your neck that feels comfortable for you. And 
once you're here, taking a clearing breath, a full deep breath in, and a big sighing breath out. one more full breath here. Breath in and out. Slowly drawing your palms underneath you and rising back up. Coming back through center and let your knees windshield wiper from side to side once more. And when you're ready, we're going to pause over on the left side, find your pigeon on the left. So if you have any knee or hip issues, you can, you can stay with your legs like this, or you can and slowly fold over your left shin, or if you want to come into your full pigeon, letting your left shin draw parallel to the top of your mat, or anywhere that feels good for it. Right leg extending behind you, any amount of support underneath your left hip that you might need. And taking a full breath in and staying here, slowly beginning to fold forward. Allowing yourself to settle into this space. Noticing any discomforts in your body. As long as they're not pain, allowing you to breathe within those discomforts. If you notice pain, that's your body's signal to tell you to back out just a little bit. Or as much as you need to where you don't feel pain. two more full breaths here. Deep breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Slowly rising back up. If you're in your full pigeon rolling to your left hip and letting your right knee come to meet your sole of your left foot. You're going to start to find your twist on this side, letting your hands come over towards the left, finding length through your spine, and staying here slowly, letting your arms walk out, and taking any amount of support you might need underneath your left side body. And arms and head can be anywhere that's comfortable for it. And taking another clearing breath, a deep breath in, and a big sigh out. 
releasing anything you do not need. Taking two more breaths here. Deep breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. And slowly rising back up. Coming back through center. Letting your knees once you wipe her side to side once more. And when you're ready, letting your legs extend out long in front of you. And find a seated forward fold, your Pashtunwotanasana. Your feet can be together or a little bit wider, maybe about hip width apart. And you're ready, finding length through your spine, beginning to lean forward. Staying here, beginning to fold forward. And if you have really tight hamstrings or a tight lower back, your hips, you can have a bend into your knees and then working you towards your fold here, whichever way feels best for you. Letting your hands come behind you about a foot or so. We're just going to open up through your chest. So letting your fingers face forward if that's okay for you. If it's too much on your wrist, you can turn your fingers sideways or even your fingers towards the back of your mat. Whichever way is best on your hands and your wrists. Taking another big shoulder roll, letting your chest begin to press up towards the ceiling. Any placement for your head or in your neck, wherever feels good for it. So maybe upright, maybe you start to open up. Maybe you let your head and neck release all the way back. One more full breath in and out. Letting your elbows bend to gently release. And taking any counter movement that would feel good, maybe a soft fold forward, okay, bending your knees and hugging your knees into your chest. We're gonna do one more round. And when you're ready, 
setting back up. Again, noticing what's best for your wrists. Forward to the sides or back, wherever is best for you. Taking another big shoulder roll and beginning to press your chest tall. more full breath here deep breath in and out bending into your elbows gently to release and releasing out any counter that would feel good for you when you're ready you're going to make your way onto your back slowly rolling all the way down and once you're there you can let your knees draw into your chest you can find a gentle rock side to side or some circles above your knee you're going to move into your lying twist let your knees come over towards the left side of your body your right arm opening out towards the side taking a full deep breath in and a big sigh out If you need to, you can take any amount of support underneath your bottom knee or between your knees. One more full breath here in and out. Slowly coming back through center, maybe a gentle rock side to side, then moving over towards the other side. Taking a big clearing breath here, a deep breath in, and a big sighing breath out. Taking one more full breath here, a deep breath in, a big sigh out, slowly coming back through center, taking any movements you might need, 
and then finding your Shavasana, your final relaxation. Taking any amount of support underneath your knees or your hips or on top of you, maybe a blanket, and allowing yourself to be as comfortable as you can be. So while you're lying down, replace a little bit more mantra music. Allowing your body to release. Allowing you to release control of your physical body. The muscles, if they feel tight, allowing them to be wherever they need to be. And when they are ready, they will release. Allowing you to release control of your breath. Allowing a natural rhythm to flow. Allowing you to release control of your thoughts. Letting your mind move to wherever it needs to move. But allowing you to stay separate from those thoughts taking a step back and observing them as the witness. And taking two clearing breaths, taking a full deep breath in, a big sigh and breath out. One more time, another full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Allowing everything to go. Allowing everything.
any movement you might need to reawaken. Maybe a stretch long or hugging your knees into your chest. Rolling over onto your right side. Pausing there for one clearing breath. So a full deep breath in. Big sigh out. And when you're ready, making your way up into a comfortable seat. Allowing your hands to draw to your heart center. Sealing the practice today with a single OM. Taking a full deep breath in. Thank you for sharing your time, space, and energy with me today. The light in me sees and honors the light within me. Namaste. Thank you.